Pew, pew. Huh? <laughs> well, hello everyone and welcome back to another part of the Syracuse campaign. Um, apologies, it's been a few days since the last one, but since starting a new job, I found myself becoming very busy throughout, throughout the day, and then I get quite tired in the evening, so I don't always um, have the time to record, actually. Sometimes I do just come in, and an hour later I tend to go to sleep. Quite I'm feeling lazy. But, um, I'm still trying to get this out almost daily. So, yes. What is that? Oh, Emporian. Okay, I thought that was like a... Did I get a bonus province? But no. No, I didn't. Well, we'll up her skill there. We have an army marching down. Which, that should be quite an interesting battle. Hmm. If they lose, that'll be a pain in the bum. Uh, we took Hadramentum, and we also took Carthago in the previous part. So now it's trying to secure the kind of North African region. But we're in the turn and see... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I'll just, I'll retreat for now. And that was with them in their kind of forced marchy thingy -bib -bib. Oh, 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 oh. Good. Right. So, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can win. And we are defending, so that will give us certain advantages. I will probably wait and let them come to me. Got a few units of slingers, a few units of hoppetes, a few units of archers. Hopefully I'll have superiority in cav. My hands, whenever I wash my hands at the minute, smell like a chocolate orange. Because Sarah wanted to get the fun chocolate orange soap from the supermarket. It still kills all the bacteria, it's a Carex one, so you know. Still does the job, and you get to smell like chocolate. Orange. Which just makes me hungry. Oh, this army doesn't have anything to kind of assist with defending itself with. So I don't have any deployables here. I've only got a few units of pikemen as well. Uh. Oh dear. Well, nevertheless, we'll... Hmm. I think to deploy on a hill as well is going to be a bit of a pain for me. I'll probably keep quite a bit in reserve. Group the cav, plop them on here. Spear infantry ready. Militia. I would like... Oh, I'll definitely keep the four-axe swordsmen in reserve. I'll probably go around here and I'll use them as a bit of a flanking force. Any kind of missiles can just group together. They can be right at the front. And we'll start the battle. So they do have... Ooh, blah, blah, blah. If we are victorious. Do have a few units. I'm surprised that they're going to march towards me already. Our defense. But we mortals must do our parts as well. Fight with honor, and all will be well. Yes. Um, one thing I would like to do when I have a bit more time in the future is to start a few more series, kind of less total war-ish. They might, they may even just be like one-off episodes of games because I am getting to a size now where I can kind of contact at least the kind of indie publishers and ask to kind of play their game a little bit. Um, and I do have a couple which I do need to play a bit more. And Orders. review for you guys. Not, not necessarily review, but just kind of do a bit of a overview of the game. Sword. So I have Maya at the minute, and I also have the Caribbean the game. It's built on a Mountain Blade engine. So they'll Pop be coming at some point. Time. So I do have a lot of plans for the YouTube the channel. I'm not going to try and remain too complacent. Understood. Yes, I'll plop them in a shield wall. Along with them. Okay. And we'll get this sped up. So we can see. 
Well, that's going to go up after. <laughs> so that live stream by Cyril Beliefs will be over by now. Oh my gosh, they have a horde. So a lot of levy spears. Javelin men, Numidian cavalry, tribesmen. So a lot of their army is very... Hmm, not that professional compared to my force. Okay, so it's only the archers that have a quick reload. <laughs> okay, so they're in a shield wall. They're not, but they don't need to be. My pikemen are quite... They're as spread out as, they w as I want them to be, because at the minute their army could just envelop mine. Oh boy. And they have a lot of javelin men. They have a lot of... A lot of javelin men. So that's how they're going to win this battle. <laughs> From the sheer amount of javelin men they have. Christ. I'm going to have to use my cavalry purely to try and kill their javelin men because my skirmishers do not have a hope in hell of defeating that. Oh boy. <laughs> Can you even... No, they can't even... Well, they can go into a shield wall. That's not really what I need. Oh, I would kill for a unit of elephants right now. Okay, if I can break their cavalry fairly soon... Like, their levy spearmen's going to be easy to break. It's just the sheer amount of, like, tribesmen and stuff. For example, I'm going to strike on their flank now. Just try and get some out of the way. And that should be fairly easy to do. The rest of my army can kind of manage itself. But to be able to take out these now would be a minor victory. Okay. So the quicker they're routed, the quicker I can contact more of them. Contact? Kill more of them, I should say. And at the minute their army's in a bit of disarray. Okay. This is where their skirmish is really going to come into play. My cavalry can't keep up with all of them by the time they run and regroup. My Numidians. I think they were Numidians? No, oh, just Sebian cavalry. Okay, we'll get out of there. Regroup. I did what I needed to. Okay, so... We are firing at all of them. At the ready. Good. Every set of those taken down is a problem solved. Okay. Time to send the swordsmen in on the flanks. And I'm hoping they're going to make short work of the levy spears. They certainly should go in against pikes anyway. Would be handy if I'm able to take out the javelin men down on this flank now. Right, because we are making ground here. 
the swordsmen are able to, if they can get there quick enough. If not, they're going to be a casualty of the war. My cavalry definitely are. Okay, four axe. Poplites are holding. My cab is somehow still holding. What's happened to another? Oh gosh! Right. Do a bit of inspiration because who doesn't need a bit of inspiration every now and then? I just need to close down the gap on the majority of their kind of tribesmen. Javelin man. Oh boy. Oh no, cavalry, go come down here, please. Okay, any missile units, please target some missile units. Things are starting to get a little bit laggy. I think it's probably due to the amount of men on screen. And I think it's probably time to send the pikes forward to assist. Definitely get the general in the melee. Those hoppetes are holding their own. The large shield warriors. Don't know what they're doing. Of cavalry is just going to try to go after as many javelin men as they can. Slingers, we've still got a lot of units intact with the slingers. Okay, so that flank is completely broken. I should just be able to kind of mole down their army now. while still getting these fellows to target their tribal slingers. Obviously the battle <laughs> the battle is strongly in my favour now. But it's trying to take out their units. While still trying to take out <laughs> the javelin men can still be a complete pain in the arse. Luckily, most of the units are wavering. Oh, good. They're oh, good. Good, 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 good. I'm, I won't, there's no way I can chase them down, so I'm going to have to win the battle. A heroic victory, apparently. They lost 3,000 compared to my almost 700. Cavalry got decimated. I will kill all the captives. Hopefully recruit some more mercenaries. Ah, did someone... Okay. Why am I facing this way? Better. Right. Ooh. I could get me some more mercenaries. Huh. Don't seem to be able to merge. Right. Uh, but to be honest, they're not going to be much good anymore. Not if I want to win this fairly quickly. So that's a fair amount of archers. Um, I could always try and ambush them. We hunger for battle. In fact, I think I will. Battle! And that is, looks like a fresh army.
Okay. Make haste, men. We take this settlement. <sighs> the odds really are not in my favour. They've just got a huge amount of troops still. Disengage. Oh, whoops. Commander. Right. Oh, they've taken Leptis Magna. Well, that that kind of works for me. I'll I'll head back. There's no point going double time. We'll just go to the stance none, and then we'll head and take Leptis Magna. You, my dear can focus on just destroying <laughs> Garamantia. Thank you. Okay. I will actually demolish that. Hopefully get some decent hopefully get some more public order going. Oh. So Carvago will be easy ish to defend. In terms of you know, I'm gonna have a rebellion, I think. Hmm. Let's see what I can do in the diplomacy. Emporion. Hello. Welcome, welcome. In a spirit of Olympian hospital. I am impressed that you have spoken so well on your people's behalf. Now I speak for my people. Ah. No. If I offer you lots of money for a There you, you go. Speak with wisdom and grace. Hopefully we eventually they'll switch sides your... to me. Oh, Massilia likes me now. Good. I give you welcome. Let Zeus With these words, Would you, you like a trade agreement? Lovely. You speak with wisdom uh, and grace. They we have accept okay. and embrace your offer. Would you like to become a client state? Would you like to declare war? No. What I want to do is see if they'll join the war against Massalia. Uh, I am sorry. I gain. The Messalai, I'll eventually destroy you. Venetia. <laughs> Welcome. Speak. Come on. Do not waste time. Better spend a ton. Okay, I think that's all I can do for that. I think that as long as I don't have many, many, many major victory uh, defeats, I should say, I think my allies or client state should stay loyal. I'm hoping. Oh. Uh, uh. We'll just go on with that. Okay, so we've got a bad autumn, oh dear. An outraged populace in Africa. Right. So what do they have? They have a training field. Hmm. I'm probably going to start from scratch and get the hot bate muster field, and also build that. But at the minute, my armies can't move from there. Ready for battle. I imagine we'll be able to take Leptis Magna with this army. Or fleet, at least. I am awful at naval battles. And, you know, taking a settlement, so... Hence my decision to do that. We didn't lose any ships, and they're going to replenish now. So we are just going to occupy. Oh wow, our Admiral actually... Leveled up. Okay. 
Oh. We'll go for more morale. And authority. And oh, very good, yeah, thank you. And they should be fairly safe. Come on. Right, well we'll go here. Replenish our army. And if we can we can fortify. Get the fortifications ready. How may I serve you? And we don't have any money to do anything there. How right. So my conquests are being hampered at the minute. Because I can't re oh I've unlocked an achievement, Noble Master. Schwit. We see little profit in further bloodshed. You have fought with honor, but it is time to staunch deep wounds. <laughs> Take this subsidy. No. Our treasuries were over full. I would like you to be a client state. I would only have peace if they become a client state, pretty much. Oh, bums. Right, how are we doing for troops? Um, pretty replenished. Okay. How may I serve you? I will see it done. Try and poison some of them in. And then we'll break camp. What kind of men can I recruit? Mm, none of worth. For death and honor! Sweet. I'm not sure if that's worth doing. What do they have? They have a fair amount of javelin men. There's a lot of javelin men. Right, okay. We cannot do that. I'm not sure that was probably the best move for me. Now, what would happen if I decided to attack? Oh! Okay. I'd win. So, I don't know how, but... Hmm. Yeah, I'll occupy it. Okay, so I must have pretty much crippled them. So then you have that army left. Once that army's replenished, then I can march them up. Okay, good, 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 good. How are they doing? If I was to march out, that would just go straight down to rebellion, so I can't do that. Ack. But we're slowly making progress. We've still got to take these resettlements to make the area safe and then march. Blimey, we've still got a lot of work, a lot of work to do. Oh, I didn't even think about looking at Leptis Magna. Golly, golly, gosh, gosh, gosh. My lord is willing to lay down the sword. It is not often that he is moved to mercy. Um, what if I offered you? Oh, ho, ho. that's a lot of money for a peace treaty. And I'm tempted to accept so that I can concentrate French. on taking out the Massilii. We'll do that for now.
There was no sense to me continuing the war. Now I can actually concentrate on one enemy at a time, and then I can always just wipe them out in a little bit. Okay, so apparently I can upgrade everyone's hulls, which I might as well. At least I think that was. Yeah, level 3 hulls. Okay. Um. You can call me. Oh, you manipulation. You're not great. No. My skills are yours. I will watch them. I'll go for military intelligence. Ready for battle. Okay. Finding shelter. Oh gosh. Ready for order. That is a pain. Come. Fight with us. No. That's your come. Stay. And then if I went out of here, uh, it's worth taking that at the minute. I'll sail them around here. Hopefully by then I should be able to bring another army out of the settlement. But here, not for a little while. <laughs> Just focus on getting that sorted. This isn't going to be a province that I'm going to spend a lot of time in. And then I can just continue along up here. But I think I'm going to end the episode here, so thank you all once again for watching. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to click that like button and share it around if you're so inclined. Hopefully next time we can continue our advance into this kind of area and secure more of Africa for us. Until next time everyone, I bid you good day.